The invasion of Iraq was one of the most controversial events in recent history. The moral and financial effects of the conflict has put a shadow on the West foreign policy. While not the size of Vietnam, the comparisons have been made between the two. A lot. Billions of dollars spent, thousands of Americans and coalition troops lost, and countless Iraqis killed over the past decade. The question of whether America should have went in is a debate which still rages on today. So what if, as an exercise of alternate history, we asked, what if the Iraq War never happened? What if America never pushed for an invasion after already invading Afghanistan? How would this change the history of the region? How would this have shifted American policy in the War on Terror? Here is one scenario. In our timeline, in March 2003, the US, Britain, and other nations invaded Iraq under the notion that the country had weapons of mass destruction. Baghdad and Saddam Hussein's regime fell very quickly, and the Americans found themselves in less of a war, but in a new nation-building effort. After disbanding sections of the Iraqi military, a new insurgency erupted against the West. The new wave of violence thrust Iraq into becoming the new face of the War on Terror. Afghanistan became overlooked in both resources and to the general public. In this alternate timeline, America never pushes for the notion of WMDs in Iraq. They take an approach to Iraq as they did to Iran in our timeline. The United States knows the Iraqi state as a dangerous and unpredictable adversary, yet they understand any invasion would only be counterproductive to the war on terror. For the sake of stability, they avoid destabilizing Iraq and don't invade. Tensions would be high between Iraq and the US, yet they never boil over. Iraq could become an asset against Iran's growing influence. With no second conflict in the Middle East, American resources would be directly used in Afghanistan, and thus the US war effort in the country would have been much larger and more effective than in our timeline. Perhaps this could have reduced Taliban influence in not just Afghanistan, but nearby Pakistan as well, while allowing America to build up Kabul's central government. Since many troops and supplies were used when securing Iraq, Afghanistan was left in the dark for a considerable amount of time. In this alternate timeline, those troops and supplies would be used against the Taliban instead of in Iraq. For Iraq, the nation would be in the control of a murderous madman, yet the country would at least be stable. The tensions between Shiites and Sunnis would be quelled by the Baghdad government. Saddam's grip on power would not be challenged throughout the 2000s, at least until the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring would have occurred whether America invaded Iraq or not. New technology and complete distrust of the Arab governments would still occur in any alternate scenario. This could be the same in Iraq as well. What is uncertain is whether or not Saddam's grip could survive the Arab Spring. His hold was much stronger than Gaddafi's or Assad's ever was, and any form of protest would be immediately silenced. It's easy to assume any revolution would fail against Saddam, yet this doesn't mean he wouldn't be affected. A civil war in Syria would involve Saddam's Iraq. Either Saddam would see the threat of Islamic terrorists on his border and use force, or cut off the border with Syria to stop the war from spreading, or in an extreme case, claim land for himself in eastern Syria. No matter how it would be, a strong, stable Iraqi government, no matter how crazy, would combat a force like ISIS. George W. Bush's presidency would have been much different. American foreign policy would be far less criticized, and the world would have some sympathy for the US because of the 9-11 attacks. The Afghanistan war could have been much more controlled with more resources used in the region. A world where the US does not invade Iraq would be one where America would still have many of its supporters and far less critics. However, the invasion of Iraq was a crucial wake-up call for the US. It showed that invasion and nation-building does not work in the modern world, or at least the resources used are not worth the outcome. If America had not made this mistake on Iraq, it's very certain they could have invaded another nation instead. Iran would be the most likely target since its controversial nuclear program brought it to the brink in the late 2000s. There is never an 100% accurate way to know what would have happened. This is just one of the many scenarios of what could have happened. What do you think the world would be like if there was no Iraq war? Tell us in the comments. Like us on Facebook, subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub.